Howdy mates, how are we doing today? It is Thursday, October 12th, 2023. You can see that fall foliage has started to peek its way in a little bit. You may have noticed that I'm currently at a cemetery. And you may have noticed that I went by a very prominent monument. Well, they've noticed that it says Lincoln on there. As a matter of fact, we are currently in Springfield, Illinois, which I believe is also the capital of the state. But for a portion of Abraham Lincoln's life, he resided in Springfield for at least 25 years, along with his family. Prior to his presidency, he was a lawyer and, a, and an excellent debater. He certainly had a great way with words. Now, with this dedication, it is within side the monument. He is 10 feet underneath completely protected in his tomb. So in other words, you can't see the tomb directly, but you can see that there is a dedication by actually one of the most well-known presidents in the United States history. You see, what made Abraham Lincoln quite fascinating was the fact that he really didn't have that much education whatsoever. So really, much of his speaking skills and writing skills, he had to obtain a lot of that knowledge himself. And yet, even with his limited education, it certainly did not mean that he was not capable of being a leader. I think that's why he's just so admired. Now, even in the times of when he faced secession and, of course, getting in the process of abolishing slavery, there is... There is one downside that seems to not really be known from his presidency. So we go back to 1862, and some of you may have heard of it, but um, the conflict was between the settlers and the Dakota tribe. This is up in Minnesota. And I figure this is actually relevant to talk about because just earlier this week was Indigenous Peoples Day. So the Dakota were known to inhabit, of course, North and South Dakota, parts of Minnesota, and even Northern Iowa, too. So they, they, they had quite a distribution. But it seems that uh, during that time frame, when... Uh, expansion was taking place, you know, granting new states. Minnesota was sought after, and, you know, there was an uneasy peace for a while, you know, with treaties and whatnot, and usually the Union was responsible for supplying them food as an agreement of their treaties. But unfortunately, as the Civil War came, a lot of that funding and food relief wasn't being provided to the Dakota. And so there was a point when they essentially raided a settlement and committing 
a number of different crimes, whether it was burning or something a little more serious, assault, massacre, heinous acts. So once it got into trial, up to 300 different men were tried and Abraham Lincoln he had a review of the case and he decided to just choose 39 people 39 men ones who were doing acts of massacre among civilians. And so he ordered there for 39 men to be hung. And it turned out that after the hanging took place, Two people were mistaken for someone else, and only one of them had more or less a pardon. But the thing is, two men were hung, and they were innocent. And so, It's very controversial. That seems to be something not as covered from his presidency. It's like, granted, he was an excellent leader, but for some reason, when it came to Native Americans, it kind of hits a different, different spot. So... I just know that's something not really emphasized that came from his presidency, but aside from that, he really was a president ahead of his time, but then again, everyone has their flaws in some way, shape, or form. Anyway, you guys have a good one. Take care. And of course, Journey on a Journey is onwards. Take care, folks. See ya.